When your software license has expired, it's probably time to replace it with a new one. The first step is to identify on which computer on your network the license has been served from. If you've used the software previously on your computer, simply go to Environment Variables, choose the option that says Edit the System Environment Variables, click on Environment Variables, and identify the MSC license file. This indicates which computer name on the network the license is being served from. Now ensure that you are indeed working on the correct computer by going to My PC and double check that this PC name is identical to the one in your environment variable. Now let's open LM Tools and identify the location of the current license being served. If there are more than one service, select the MSE license in Helium and under the Service Status tab, identify the location and path to the license file. Now we can open up Notepad, paste this complete location to open the license file, and we see that this file has indeed expired. I will now open the new file that I've received from our service provider and ensure that the new file does indeed have a date in the future. What you will notice is that these two lines are not identical to the existing license file. So we need to copy these two lines from the old license and paste them in the new over these two lines. If you now save the file in Notepad and it opens up the Save As dialog box, it indicates that you don't have Notepad open in administrative mode and you won't be able to make these changes. So to rectify that, go to Notepad once more, but this time right click and say Run as Administrator. Now you can open the new license file replace those two lines and this time saving the file will be successful. Now that you've edited the file we need to make the changes in the FlexLM tool. So under config services browse to the new license file make sure the file type is on that save the service. Next step is to stop and start the server. So first stop the server and then click on start. It has to show the server start was successful. Next step is to click on server status and perform a status inquiry. This step is to ensure that the service is not only up and running but that the licenses are indeed served. Now you should be able to open your software successfully. If you couldn't successfully open your software as in this case, please make sure to check all the steps carefully. You have to make sure that you are editing the license on the correct machine and that you've successfully stopped and start the service. If all these steps didn't help, please follow the troubleshoot guide on the website in the description of this video.